Well, congratulations. Let's talk about law firm partner promotions. Here's the scene from Devil's Advocate where Keanu Reeves finds out that he's made partner. So now you're a partner. When did that happen? Well, that's sort of an awkward way to find out that you've made partner. And what typically happens next in big law is a little awkward too. Law firm communications departments reach out to the legal media to let them know that their firm has a new class of partners. Traditionally, the partner promotion story is a sort of subset of the business of law beat, but it's not really news, right? More the type of thing you'd expect to see on LinkedIn. So what is the legal media to do with the partner promotion announcement? Well, it used to be fun to count up which partners came from which law schools and tie the article to that. People like that, but you know the story. Harvard, Yale, Stanford, Columbia. There's a new trend in town now, and a bunch of law firms have caught on. Recently, large law firms such as McDermott, Pillsbury, and Cadwallader have been using these partner promotion announcements as sort of a subliminal legal marketing effort. The message? Our firm takes diversity and inclusion seriously. And that's a real problem for law firms. Only 22% of partners at major law firms are women, while minorities account for only 8%. Legal journalists started covering the news from the diversity perspective, and then the firms caught on. Here's some excerpts from emails that Big Law Business received. McDermott told us they had the highest percentage of female appointments in recent history. Pillsbury wrote that empowering female lawyers is obviously something we're making a priority as we move into 2017. And Cadwallader said that a point worth noting was the overall diversity of the partner class. Others got a little defensive about mostly male, mostly white classes. Big Law Business recently published an analysis of the law firms that promoted the most women to partner in 2016. What have we found so far? Three firms, Cravath, Pepper Hamilton, and Schulte Roth promoted 100% female partner classes. Cravath is typically among the top of law firm prestige rankings, and when they make moves like raising associate base salary, other firms follow. The firms with all male classes included Sherman and Sterling, Paul Weiss, Hughes Hubbard, Cahill, and another among most prestigious lists, Sullivan and Cromwell. The norm, by far, was partnership classes with less than 50% women. Only 21 firms in the Amlaw 100 had 50% or more women in their new class of partners. As one publication noted, at the rate of current growth, women will make up half of U.S. law firm partners by 2072. 